Welcome back. We are here on YouTube looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 14, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, uh, where you can get access to this full video, our signal service, and uh, also our online trades and courses. So we're still, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. We're trading above the 20 exponential moving average. However, we're not making higher highs here. We're actually going lower and lower. And it is, it is almost a certainty that we are going to turn around here, head towards these lower uh, levels. So 89.15, uh, that is the previous lows here. And that is most likely where we are going. If you break the 20 moving average here in the bullish band, then we are going all the way down to those levels. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish at this point, uh, but I don't expect a rally up towards the 50 moving average. I don't even expect a rally up toward the top of the bullish band. So this has been um, a nightmare for many commodities, also currency pairs and so on. Stock market and ind indices have not been as effective by this um, uh, uh, appreciation of the US dollar index. Um, but precious metals, commodities, and also currency pairs have been very much affected by this move. Um, for example, the US dollar, um, Swedish krona, and the, uh, has been rallying significantly today. But I expect a pullback towards these lower levels, and I will see the most commodities and also precious metals will rally in the next few trading days. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we went all the way up to $53.91 before we pull back. And at this point, if we see another red candlestick underneath here tomorrow, that is a massive warning sign for oil. And we are going to drop towards the, bo the bottom here, roughly $50. That's where uh, buyers will most likely come back in. And also we're going to hit the, uh, the, um, the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at technical indicators, we are overbought here. The CCI and Stochastic and MACD, all of them are turning around. So expect a turnaround here towards at least 50 if we break the 20 exponential, then we're heading to these previous lows at 47 and then probably to the 50 moving average at 45. There is no reason why we're supposed to be up here. And it's not to demand. It is probably just pure speculation. So let's look at natural gas. And as you can see, we have been back and forwards in natural gas, and uh, it's just more of the same. We have been, we have broken down, rally, broke down, rally, broke down, rally, broke down, rally, and now we're breaking down again. Technical indicators are turning around. There's a lot of room to the downside. So a pullback all the way down to the lower parts of the bullish band, just above the 200 moving average, that is fairly likely at this point. We have been rejected twice at the 50 and the bottom top of the bullish band, we pulled very aggressively back when we got to this level here. Uh, so I round off here and go back towards at least 2.34 or 3.4, 2.4, sorry, or all the way down to the 2.3 level. That is very likely at this point. So let's look at copper. So Copper has pulled back towards the middle of the bullion band or the 20 exponential moving average here. We're trading at 3.6. And this will rally when the US dollar starts um, depreciating again. So pay attention to that. We may hit the 20 um, exponential first, roughly uh, 3.57, uh, and then rally up towards the top of the bullion band at the 3.69. Technical indicators are very negative for this, uh, uh, for copper. So we'll probably have some downside before we go up. So let's look at gold. So US dollar has been um, appreciating and that has a way in on gold. Uh, so we have fallen down to 1834 
At this point, we're trading just above the 200 moving average, and uh, I don't think that we are going to break the 200 moving average. I think that we are going to turn around here. You can see the stochastic has crossed the signal line. The, that is probably the only very good news that you have. So this will be supportive, and this is showing that momentum is going to change to the upside. CCI is still bearish, MACD, the RSI is flat, and the MACD is basically bearish at this point. But I think that I do favor the upside uh, to the downside. I don't really see this dropping all the way to 1800, uh, no, and definitely not to 1700. This is just going to be a continuation of this move. Uh, we have a line here, get rid of the Bollinger Band, and we have our line here. And what we are seeing is that we hit the bottom of this range and we hit the top of this range. And usually we are just going to zigzag in between this area here until we break out to the upside. Because I do favor the upside to the downside. And therefore, I am not very concerned that we are going to break significantly down from here. I think that we're heading up towards around 1938 before we have a pullback uh, towards roughly this area here, which 1861. So there's going to be a lot of choppiness here, but uh, we are most likely going to rally from here. So let's look at silver. So similar, uh, very similar here. The 50 moving average is basically the bottom here. Compared to a 200 moving average in, in gold, we, uh, well, it is kind of trading sideways i would i would if you look at it it is this is where we are trading and at this point we are basically right in the middle so it's one of the reasons why i just stay away from silver we're not at this bottom here if we were to fall towards the bottom where we have tested three lines here is also where the 200 moving average is then yes that is a major buying opportunity and if we were to get to the top here, it would most likely we get rejected and then you could sell it. But we are basically right here in the middle of things. If we break above the 20 exponential, then we rally to these highs, 27.86, break below the 50, opens the door to the 200 moving average of roughly the $22. So let's look at platinum. So we have rallied significantly today and we're trading at 10.96. Um, there is still room to the upside. We're only 60 in RSI. We're not overstretched, uh, but we find quite a lot of assistance in this area. So it has been very back and forward with uh, Platinum recently. But the 50 moving average looks like that is basically the floor at this point. Also, the 20 exponential offers support. So pull back towards the 20, definitely the 50, that is your buying opportunity. It has gone at this point, there's no reason why, no reason to enter this. We, if we have a pullback towards the 20, then yes, that is possible. Technical indicators are turning around, so we may see this go a little bit further before we head back down. So let's look at Pallium. So the very same thing here, nothing is happening. Uh, we are still in the same range, uh, the very highs here and the bottom, and we are kind of in the middle of things. So if you get to the top, that is your selling opportunity. If you go to all the way to the bottom, which is uh, continue to look very rare, then that's your uh, buying opportunity. That is also just about the 200 moving average, so a break below the 50 here opens the door to these lows. But at this point, we are technically in the middle of nowhere. Uh, rally from here is a short-term trade to these, to these highs of 2.5. Technical indicators are flat. Yeah, thanks to basically flat, all of them. So um, I like trading the, the edges, not trading the middle, not at all. So let's look at aluminium. So as you can see, we have pulled back a little bit. We are trading just above the 50 moving average and right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. 
At this point, we are probably going to go lower. These technical indicators are showing that we are, um, we're basically, the momentum is to the downside, to be very honest. So whether or not we turn around here at the 50 moving average, if we break the 50 moving average, then we are going significantly lower. I would be very surprised if that were the case, but this is not looking very bullish at this current, uh, current point. We have tried to rally and then broken down significantly, but the bottom of the market is right here. So 1982, that is going to be interesting what, uh, what will basically happen there. Uh, that is a rally, a, pull, a rally from here is a buying opportunity, stop loss right underneath, and the target of these highs. So let's look at uh, nickel. So as you can see, we have uh, rallied, pulled back a little bit at this point. Uh, well, there is room to the upside. Pullbacks towards the 20 exponential are buying opportunities. Uh, at this point, it's not a very good entry point at all. Uh, 20 exponential buying point, and here at the at the 50, that is also a possible uh, buying opportunity. So let's look at sugar. So as you can see, we have rallied a little bit. The 20 exponential is uh, holding. It is the floor of this market. So a pullback towards the 20. That is to be seen as a buying opportunity. We have uh, found resistance here at 0 0.1594. And yes, of course, it always pulled back in the, in the end of the session. But a rally up towards these previous highs at 0 0.1627. That is very likely as the technical indicators are all turning around. There's not a lot of room to the upside. We're at 61 at this current stage. But these uh, indicators that is looking very encouraging, as well as this move here. So a pullback towards the 20, that's your entry point. It is kind of late to enter now at this current stage. So let's look at cotton. So we have pullback ever so slightly. Um, really, if you want to enter this market, it needs to pull back all the way to the 20 exponential. That is at zero. 0.7793. We can see that we are overstretched. We're overbought at this current point, and technical indicators are also turning around. So, pull back towards this area here. That is your entry point with a stop loss right underneath and the target of these previous highs. So let's look at cocoa. So we had tried to rally up towards the 50 and then just completely collapsed. So this is not a very encouraging sign. And if you look at this, it just looks like we are gradually just going lower. There just isn't that uh, momentum as we saw here uh, in November, December. That is just technically gone at this current stage. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that we are running into these Fibonacci retracements all the time. That's the reason why we also pull back from here because we rallied up towards the 50, see the 50 here, and then pull back. So we have the 50, the we have the 38 here. So yes, that is basically the reason why we are pulling back. And we just don't have the momentum, momentum to the upside. If you break below the 200 moving average, that opens the door to 2.325 and also to 2.230. So let's look at uh, wheat as the last instrument. So we have rallied all the way up to 679, and then we have given most of those gains back. So if you want to enter this market, it needs to pull back towards the 20, and that is at 632 at this current, current stage. Uh, that is where this most likely also will head. So we created an inverted hammer here. Usually, if it, that is a very very shine, we are also very very overstretched, and that's why we pull back from there. We can look at the bullish band. We are way outside of the bullish band, so a pull back towards the middle here. That's roughly 631. That is going to be your entry point for a buy-in. That is also the previous highs over here. So there's going to be a lot of support in this area here. A target of the previous highs of 679. That is 
most likely what's going to happen here. Technical indicators are still bullish. Uh, we're not overbought, but they are showing signs of weakness. They are showing signs that they are going to round off here. So probably tomorrow or Friday session, this is going to go lower from here. So if you have any questions, just write to me on Etero. Uh, Etero, I mean, uh, on Patreon. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.